Hello, and welcome to Book Review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing all of the books that I read in 2022. Now, there aren't that many, because I only started reading like halfway through the year, but I'm going to be reviewing them. A little bit of ranking. Let's just jump into it. First up is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. Now, this book wasn't like bad. I give it a not great. The writing was kind of thin at times. The plot was a little boring, dragged somewhat. Just, just wasn't for me. Up next, we have the just okay category. Uh, first up is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adaini. I don't have much to say about this. It deals with like a lot of magic. I learned I don't really care for. I did. <laughs> it was this book where I'm like, hmm, yeah. I don't really like it. There's nothing really wrong with it. The story writing's good. The, you know, plot's good. I just didn't care for it. Next in the just okay category is Zoe's Tale by John Scalzi. Now, this is the fourth book in the Old Man War series, and I read all of them this year, so we'll get in the rest later. But the fourth one, I thought it was just okay. Like, it doesn't really add anything that new. It's one of the longest books in the series and it really doesn't need to be. You can skip the book and everything still like, you still get the whole story. Like if I reread the series, I'd, I'd skip the fourth book, but. All right, now we're onto the good category where it's, you know, books I thought they were good. First up for this category, we have The Faceless Old Woman Who Secretly Lives in Your Home, written by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner. Now, this book was good, you know, nothing amazing. It was definitely a little slow at times. I had some good twist in there that I enjoyed. Storyline was pretty good. The title is definitely misleading. Like, no spoilers, but that's not really what it's about. It's more about how she became a faceless old woman who secretly lives in everyone's home. But overall, I thought it was a good book. Next up is I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream by Harlan Ellison. Now, this book was a collection of short stories of his, which some were better than others. Overall, I thought they were pretty good. They definitely are, like, are horror books, and none of them have happy endings, but I enjoyed them. I thought they were pretty good. Up next, we have Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Now, I had heard a lot about this book before going into it. Like, I hadn't watched the movie or anything, but, you know, it's very, it's a, cla it's a classic book. I, I thought it was good. I think it's a little overrated. It's not as legendary as people make it out to be, but I did enjoy the book. Uh, next up, we have The Last Colony by John Scalzi. Now, this is the third book in the Old, Man's, uh, Old Man War franchise. And I thought this one was less good than the first two, but I it still made me want to keep reading the series. Next up, we have The Human Division, as well as uh, The End of All Things by John Scalzi. Now, these are the fifth and sixth installments of the Old Man War franchise. I'm putting them together because the, both of them are like collections of short stories that all tie together to like advance the world, like world building. And I could not tell you the difference between the two, but both are good. I enjoy them. I mean, it definitely takes, it's different than like how the series started, but I enjoyed it. Next up, we have the great category. Um, first is The Old Man's War by John Scalzi. Now, this is just the first installment of the Old Man's War franchise. Um, I thought it was really good. It it just tells a great story, got some good twists, some good surprises. I loved it. Next up is The Ghost Brigades by John Scalzi. It is the second installment of the Old Man's War franchise. Now this one takes everything great from the first one and just builds on it. It expands the world. We explore more into some characters. It, it's, it does great. Next up is Stormfront by Jim Butcher. Now, this is the first installment of the Dresden Files. I would describe this book as like an action movie. It's 
you know, the plot's not too great. It, it, it has the same storyline where it's like we follow it, you know, we got the underdog who's got like, he's the protagonist, so he has protagonist plot. He's, someone's trying to kill him, so he has to go on his quest and then he ends up defeating him in the end by like, some some foreshadowing that we had at the start and it all ties together nicely it's not it's not a difficult read it's not you know it, it's the kind of book where you you're like man i want to sit down i don't want to read about stuff exploding it's like an action movie i thought it was really good up next we have john dies in the end by jason pargan uh i loved this book it was what pretty much got me into reading it it's like a horror comedy it keeps you on your toes the whole time. It's scary, funny, amazing. I could not recommend this book more. If you think you don't like reading, try like, and you like, you like horror movies and action movies, try reading this book. It is so good and it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop being amazing. I want, just talking about it, I want to pick it up and read it again right now. Uh, and the last book in the great category is Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. I really like this book. I I heard about the movie. I never saw it. So I picked up the book. Loved it. It it was so good. It's not too character heavy. It's mostly like the plot is driven by like the storyline itself, if that makes sense. Like just like the situation that the characters are in, which fine by me. I'm not I'm bad with characters, so works well. It it it's just so good. It's a horror like mystery you 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 never know what's happening until it's like too late and it's already happened and now on to the amazing category first up is george orwell's animal farm i loved this book i'd always heard so much about it and i was like i'm gonna read it for myself it is so good it's not that long it's a great read but it's it's got a lot of names in it which I, i i'm bad with names so like I, I, I figured it out. You can figure it out. It's so good. I can't recommend this book more. Read the book. <laughs> Next is Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Love this book. I re- I kind of read it in high school. I, I couldn't really read all that well at the time. So I like spark notes like half of it. And even then I was like, I, I enjoyed this book. And then so when I started reading, I was like, I'm going to reread Fahrenheit 451. And reading it, ooh. I got to like, I actually got to understand what was happening and it's such a good book. Last on our list is What Moves the Dead by T. Kingfisher. This is like a horror mystery book. I loved it. I didn't really know what I was going into reading it and I I would recommend that. It's like, mm, this is a book you should just go in blind for. You pick it up, you read it for the first time. Everything's weird. It kind of doesn't make sense. We don't really understand what's happening. And then as you get more and more into it, you slowly start understanding what's happening. And then it becomes terrifying what's happening. And I adore this book. Now, those are all the books I read in 2022. I I, I fully intend to read more. I haven't read most of these because I got them for Christmas. Uh, stay tuned for more book reviews. Ratman, signing off.